Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. I want you to sit back and relax. Hopefully this is going to be a more of a reflective gospel. I want you to reflect on a few questions. Think about the Lenten season. What is Lent to you? What has your Lenten devotion been in the past? And what was the results of that Lenten journey? What do you want from God this Lent? What do you really want from God? What is the desire of your heart? We may need to ask ourselves this question as well. Where am I at spiritually right now? We probably all have different answers. Some would probably say, I'm in a good place. I attend Mass regularly, and I pray daily. During Lent, I've grown spiritually. I have come closer to God in years past, and that's great. Are you ready? To receive more from God. Some may say. Well we've been feeling overwhelmed. I'm apprehensive and unsure. Of my relationship with the Lord. But that's okay too. Are you ready to receive more from God? <clears throat> For some of us. We may feel worn out. Like we're just running on a hamster wheel. We just go through the motions. And when it comes to our faith. Well we just don't hardly feel anything. Most of the time. And that's okay. Are you ready to receive more from God? Some might feel irritated, disappointed, disillusioned, or maybe even angry about some circumstance in their life. Maybe we've been scandalized by the leaders of our church. Maybe we've been taken advantage of, taken for granted. Maybe we feel helpless, and our life seems just totally out of control. And if you can relate to that, it's okay. Do you want to receive more from God? You see, if you can relate to any of these things, that is a very good indication that you are ready to receive more of God and to receive more from God. You see, God wants to give us an abundant life, an abundant life in Jesus Christ. He wants to give you his heart. And Jesus wants your heart. And he desires to have that personal and that intimate relationship with each one of us. God wants to give us more. More of himself. More of his grace. More of his mercy and his forgiveness. More of his peace. More than we could ever receive. More than what we could ever imagine. Are you in peace in Christ? Do you have the peace of Jesus in your heart and in your life? Even when things around you are chaotic or seem to be out of control, can you rest in his peace? Have you experienced his calmness, even in the midst of confusion and disorder? You know, it would be tragic if we ended up on Easter Sunday and we looked all the way back to Ash Wednesday and realized that everything was the same, that there was no change, that there was no spiritual growth through that Lenten journey. Do you want more from God this Lent? Or are you okay with the status quo of your life? We have to be honest with ourselves. We have to be honest with Jesus. Tell him where you are in your life right now. Where you are in that spiritual journey. If you're stagnant or lukewarm or just don't feel anything, tell Jesus. He'll accept you right where you are. And he'll offer you the grace to move you closer to him. If you struggle with a particular sin, one that you just can't shake, you just can't get rid of, tell Jesus about it. Ask for forgiveness and ask for the grace to overcome that burden, that bondage that is holding you back. For he knows you better than you know yourself. Jesus desires a relationship with you more than he desires for you to give up something for Lent. You see, Jesus, he just simply wants your heart. When we think of Lent, we think of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We should be intentional about our prayer time with the Lord. And we should carve out from our busy schedules time to spend exclusively with him. We can grow in that relationship with the Lord through quiet reflections on the scriptures or times of Eucharistic adoration where we just set and the presence as we look at 
God, and God looks at us. Fasting can take on many different forms. Usually, when I think of fasting, I think of giving up food for a certain period of time, some type of food or drink. But we can fast from other things as well. We can fast from gossip. We can fast from criticism or a negative attitude. We can fast from worry or undue anxiety. We can fast from social media or TV. Almsgiving is simply giving to those who are in need, helping, giving a helping hand to those who need your assistance. To give to the Lord is to give our time, our talent, our money, our food, clothing, our friendship and our concern for those who are in need around us. Jesus said, whatever you do to, to the least of my brothers, you have done to me. <clears throat> we often think of Lent as a time that we give up something for God, a time to sacrifice something. So when you think of sacrifice, we think of giving up something. That's what I normally think of. But sacrifice is not necessarily giving up something for God. But instead, it is offering to God. Offering something to God that he will accept that sacrifice. Then God will take that sacrifice and he will sanctify it. That is, he will accept what we offer to him and he will make it holy. He will sanctify it. We've all heard the saying that if you do the same thing, you'll get the same results. If we continue to do the same thing during Lent, like we've always done, most likely, we're going to get the same results at the end of Lent. Do you want more in this Lenten season, more from God? If you desire to end up on Easter Sunday renewed, refreshed, transformed, and resurrected with Jesus, we have to put in the time. We have to put in the effort in this Lenten season. First, ask the Lord for more. He'll never refuse someone that is asking to grow closer to him. He will give us what we need. He will give us the grace. Then we have to be honest. We have to repent of anything in your life that is holding you back. Any habit, any sin, any addiction, anything that we are aware of, that we know is displeasing to God. Even if it seems totally beyond our control, we have to ask. Ask for the desire to turn from sin and to turn to the Lord. God wants to give you more of himself. He wants to give you his heart. The scripture said Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. At the beginning of this Lenten season, turn to the Lord with all of your mind, with all of your heart, and with all of your soul, and turn to the Lord and make him the priority of your life, the priority of this Lenten season. Take the time to develop that relationship, that true friendship with him. If you want more of the Lord in your life, just ask for it. If you want to arrive at this Easter Sunday forever changed with a new zeal and a deeper faith, put Jesus first and accept his grace. Make it effective in your life. You will have all that you need to grow in relationship with Jesus. Give your heart and your life to him. And he will give you his heart as well. Our gospel said Jesus came proclaiming the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this Lenten season is a time to believe in the gospel. It is a time to repent. It is a time to reflect, a time to pray, a time to fast, and a time to give alms, a time to grow closer in the Lord. Let the Holy Spirit stir into flame the gifts that you have received through your baptism and your confirmation. Let the Holy Spirit become alive and active and real, present in your life. Live by the Spirit. Walk by the Spirit. Breathe by the Spirit. And live a life of in the Holy Spirit. For the kingdom of God is at hand. May Almighty God bless you. Keep you. Amen.